Bless the Lord, brothers and sisters. I'm back yet again with another message. I thank God for you taking the time out to view this message. This message is quite important to the so-called believer and the so-called disciple, so-called Christian, so-called man and a woman of God. And when I say so-called, I mean this gives you room and gives you time to examine your discipleship with the true and living God. You know, brothers and sisters, a lot of people say that they know God and they believe God. And they say it so freely, but I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, you have to really work out your salvation with fear and trembling because, brothers and sisters, when you stand before the living God, God not only sees everything you've done in your life, but he sees the motives behind what you say, what you do. Even now, brothers and sisters, as we live our lives day to day. So brothers and sisters, knowing that, I want you to really, truly examine your lives, brothers and sisters, and search your hearts. Brothers and sisters, I want you to realize that being a follower of God, being a disciple of God, being a child of God requires you to die to your old self daily in order to live and please God, to walk in his will, to sacrifice, to be obedient, to submit to God's authority, to study his word, to trust him, to believe his word, to share his word, brothers and sisters, to have a fervent prayer life, brothers and sisters. And I'm not talking about just works because with, I'm not talking about just works because we are obviously saved by grace through faith. However, brothers and sisters, we can't as children of God believe or have this ideology that, you know, just because, you know, we're quote unquote, so-called Christians and living, uh, 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 just a, how can I say a systematic Christian life? We go to church on Sunday and then we come back home and then we put on our clothes and do the same thing week after week, but not retaining anything or not studying for ourselves to show ourselves approved or not having that one-on-one -on -one intimacy with the Lord. You see, brothers and sisters, walking with the Lord Jesus also allows you to examine your own life for yourself and realize that it's a lot of things in your character. There's a lot of things, brothers and sisters, that I'm learning about my character, about my life and my, my walk with the Lord. And you know what I'm learning? The more and more, you know, I walk with him, the more I realize that of course, I'm learning his love for me, but I, I'm, I'm really learning that there's a lot more in store in terms of my relationship with him that I want to that I want to learn about that I want to develop. You know, it, it just doesn't stop on Sunday. In other words, you know, it has to be more than uh, you know, status quo. In other words, it, 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 I don't know. I don't know how you examine your, your life, brothers and sisters, or your walk with the Lord. Everybody has an individual walk, but I'm telling you this, I'm telling you that this is true. And I want you to listen to me very, very carefully is that there's a lot of Christians, those Christians that are in hell right now, right? They thought they had it. They thought they, you know, did enough. They thought they, was nice enough. They thought they was kind to them. They thought they baked enough cookies for that old lady across the street. They thought that that was going to make it. They thought sending a uh, holiday cards to family members is going to get them that ticket to heaven. Brothers and sisters, there's more that God requires of thee. It's like the song where your heart and soul say yes. It's true, brothers and sisters. Is all of you, everything about you, surrendering and saying yes to your will, Lord. Submission to his will. 
Brothers and sisters, this is a very important message. Why? Because it allows you to really look in the mirror and look at your life, look at yourself, look at your walk, look at your motives. Examine who you are in the body of Christ and how are you advancing the kingdom? Are you advancing the kingdom? Are you building the kingdom? Are you destroying or trying to destroy the body of Christ? Are you a cancer to the body of Christ? Or are you a blessing? The body of Christ is made up of a lot of different components, brothers and sisters. A lot of different functions, spiritually. Some people are teachers, evangelists, some people are healers, some people this, that. You know? And, um, what is your function, brothers and sisters? What are you doing? What are you... How are you helping the body of Christ, in other words? Examine your life. Examine your life. I'm not your judge, brothers and sisters. I'm not saying... I'm not coming at you at a judgmental uh, angle at all. I'm just merely letting you know, brothers and sisters, truth be told, that a lot of people have this deceived ideology, Okay? That they're going to make it in just because they're nice people. Brothers and sisters, don't be deceived. Your church attendance and your tithe money, if you would, is not going to get you a one-way ticket to heaven. It's not, brothers and sisters. There's a lot of people in the body of Christ right now that think just because they sow a seed that they're sowing salvation. That if they give and give and give and give and, the, you know, the pastor is loving it, obviously. <laughs> but that's another story for another day. But what I'm saying is that, brothers and sisters, seriously, your soul is vitally important. I want you to realize, brothers and sisters, the, 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 the value of a soul and the importance of a soul is, is, is astronomically important to the Lord and it's very important to Satan. Satan wants your soul so much. Brothers and sisters, take this message really, really serious, brothers and sisters. Examine your life. Examine your life. Walking with the Lord is not an easy task, brothers and sisters. There's a lot of people in the body of Christ that just give up midstream because they realize that this path, this, this, this narrow path requires a lot of dying to self, a lot of saying no to the world. Amen. Those, those disciples that was following Jesus, amen, had to say no to a lot of things that they were what once used to. They had to sacrifice. They had to study. They had to pray. They had to do a lot of things for the Lord. But you know what? A lot of their flesh, you know, man didn't want it. But they had to do it. They had to be what? Disciples. They had to rely. They had to trust Jesus. Brothers and sisters, your reward will be great if you do it God's way. If you stay to the end. Your reward is coming. And those who want to do it the devil's way, those who want to quote unquote put on this outfit, this Christianity facade or outfit, and you're cooking up iniquity, you're cooking up witchcraft, you will have your reward as well. Brothers and sisters, God knows the heart of each and every one of us. He knows the minds and the motives too. So, brothers and sisters, I love you very much. I hope I didn't take up too much of your time. But I really want you to take this message very serious. This message is very powerful because, like I said, a lot of virgins even go to hell. Imagine that. Just because, you know, you don't have sex doesn't mean that you are a disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, I'm going to leave scriptures. Excuse me. I'm going to leave scriptures Read those scriptures, please. I don't read, I don't leave scriptures for kicks. I want you to get in a habit 
okay, of reading those scriptures because God's word is true. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Once you hear that word, it does something in your spirit, man, brothers and sisters. It's developing you. It's cutting away a lot of the old. And more importantly, it's, it, 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 is a way of God talking to your spirit. Brothers and sisters, the word of God is God. I'm giving you more of God. God is giving you more of himself through his word. So please don't just, you know, look at these scriptures and say, okay, she just left some scriptures. Read them. Do your research, brothers and sisters. Study. Study, brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters, there's a lot of, I want to close with this. There's a lot of people in the body of Christ Sad to say, sad to say, that go to church Sunday after Sunday and they're on their way to hell. And you say, how could that possibly be? That just goes to show you how hard it is to get in. Brothers and sisters, I think about back in the days when I used to go to the club, right? I used to be in a world, right? And I used to go to clubs, man. I used to go to clubs back in the days for real. And I used to dance for the devil. Not, not you know, on a pole or anything. Thank God. Y'all wouldn't want to see that either. So. <laughs> I wouldn't want to see that. But anyway, <laughs> a little humor there. But anyway, um, yeah, I used to dance, you know, in the club scene. And um, I remember before we even got through the door. Now go with me spiritually. Before we even got through the door, you had to what? Qualify. You had to look a certain way. You had to dress a certain way. You had to have a certain facade. Or they that bouncer in the front could just, nope, next, have that one that they think is what? Qualified, come to the front and go in. Brothers and sisters, but it's quite different. And the kingdom of God is, is quite different, you see. That narrow path, you see, the people who, who are on that broad path that has religiosity, that has all those, you know, different people on that path, the, the, the devil's path, if you would. There's a lot of good looking people on that path that will probably be first line to that club scene. And the devil's like, come on in, you see. But that path, amen, those ones that was probably rejected in the world is accepted by the Lord Jesus. See, God is not looking for facade. God is looking for relationship. God is looking for spirit and truth. God is looking for character and motives. God is looking for his children, his true children. Brothers and sisters, are you a true disciple? Or are you headed for destruction? Brothers and sisters, I pray for your souls I pray in the name of Jesus that after this message, you realize that it's not easy getting into heaven. And that the whole world is not getting in. Brothers and sisters, there's a lot of people that you think automatically is going to heaven. Pastors, a lot of pastors going to hell. It's some scary things, scary, th scary thought. Brothers and sisters, I pray for your soul. And more importantly, I pray in the name of Jesus that you walk by faith, not by sight.